scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. And um, I'm happy and honored to be here. I'd like us to please bless and honor Reverend Vindi Olu. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And then very quickly, I may not know all the servants of God that are here, but I honor you in the name of Jesus. It's an honor to serve Jesus and all who are here present, both students, staff, and members of this great ministry it is always an honor to serve jesus and to reveal him even at such a time as this i know that our time is gone apologies we had a lot of um, flight issues but we'll have a, f a few minutes tonight and um, i just thought we'll just turn tonight into a prayer meeting and then by tomorrow praise the name of the Lord so we'll just take some time to pray tonight and then we'll have a bit of time to teach the Bible says he spake a parable Luke chapter 18 and verse 1 to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint there are there are many things that prayer achieves in the life of a believer and I'll be showing you a few of it but please for the next few minutes um, you have celebrated me and I'm honored but we are only witnesses to one who is greater than all of us here hallelujah praise the name of the Lord and so I want you to lend your destiny the next few minutes of dedicated disciplined attention thank God for please help me am I doing something wrong just help me thank you I think that's fine so within the few minutes that we have to pray just obtain grace from god to pray it's a prayer drill and the, the goal is to be able to build in us that spiritual capacity hallelujah yes and so we'll take some time to pray and then i'll share maybe just one or two scriptures we'll pray some more and then we'll be done for the night prayer is very powerful if done with understanding if you just pray randomly without understanding you will only dissipate energy that does not provide any spiritual value but we are a people of prayer jesus prayed the apostles prayed the patriarchs of old prayed and anyone who wants to become a worthy host of god's presence these saviors that arise from Zion, they must be a people of prayer. Prayer is not for prayer warriors. Prayer is for men. Hallelujah. He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. So when it's time to pray, there's no such thing that I'm not the prayer type. If you are not the prayer type, it's an attack. If you are not the prayer type, it's an attack. Because only the prayer types do anything at all that is spiritually meaningful. Listen. As you are praying, I'd like you to know that you are releasing something from within your spirit that generations will be blessed from. So do not be distracted 
dedicated times of prayer inside with their people outside let's just give the lord some attention and pray are we together father help us tonight we obtain grace by the spirit this is not just a conference we have come to truly truly pray and we obtain grace by the power of the holy spirit we obtain grace in the name of jesus christ we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh forever yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. One more time. We look to Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Everywhere, inside and outside, I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Pray desperately, pray with intention, pray with focus. Shakata balakata branda gade leke paruska de bradiada. Shakata parakato branda gade balada box. Shakata parada balada box. Shakata parakato jalake te branda gade balakata. Kaprata kata parakata kato koto branda gade ke leke te pratoska de galakutia. And the get the brass cut the get the baroko to soto pre the get the bala shata baga the bala kata pre the get the get the bako to soto pre the get the ke la kato ke the brass cut the baraka the pre the get the get the ke bro to to ko to baroka to shka the pre the ke baruza the get the shka the pre the get the bako shka baroka the pre the get the bala gada. Kata pakata pakata protokoto friends kata pelesh kata fresh kata pelekatos cricket paruso sokoto paruka selekato sekata pelekeria you are edifying your spirit man kaparoko to prondo kotos koto pekata paruka selekata shakata parekata kelekata pros kata parada balagada Ebram bagata parakata skata pras kata balakato koto pros koto balikata. Ebagata paros kata brande kata leketo skata pras kita lakata parusia. Go ahead and pray. Edify your spirit man. Build capacity in the spirit. Shakata kete balakata pras kata balanta pakatos koto pros koto balakata. Kepres kete 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 kete. Kerakata pakata pranta kata balakato pros koto pakete. Shkete pere kete pakete balakata pros koto pakoto pre kete balakata. Shono koto paro koto pras kete pele kete. Em papa kata para kata pras kata para kato skoto pros koto bala kata ke pre kete para skoto pros kata bala kate sh em pre kete la kas kata para kata bala kata pras kata para kusha pre katia em pre kete 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 bala kate pras kato kata pras skoto pras kate bala kate pras skoto bala kata ke pre kete pokoto pros skoto pre kete 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 ba ke pre kete kato skoto pros skoto pre kate pras kate kate katia. En krakata parakata prakata prete kete kete mala kepe kete koskoto prokoto prete kete prete kete 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 
Don't be tired, you're praying. Don't be tired, you're praying. You're energizing your spirit, man. Kebakato brando koto pros koto barikete parusha kete brande kete kato sholo koto brande kete balarabo kebrande kete kala kata pras kata pakata brande kete shapa kata para kata brande kete brande kete pala kato ekre kete parede sekete belekata manda parondos koto brondos koto presa kete lekata ekre kete pakata prosa sekete. Mas kata barata seria leba kata brondo koto pros kodi alabada. Imprekete kete barata kata barata prande kete belekete. Shakata barata prande kete belekete. Shapa kata barata prande kata prande belekete bakata. Belekete barus kase ne kete balada. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus was speaking and he said, The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing for you to rise, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing for you to contact grace, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing for you to see, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing for you to experience speed, but the flesh is weak. When you pray, one of the marvelous miracles of prayer is that it sustains the ability to tame the flesh and allow the spirit gain ascendance and bring you victory. Are you ready to still pray? Open your mouth now and pray with understanding. Shana kata balata ka saka de baka te pranda galapata. Parasa da balas ka de belente ke parusa ziana kata. Shabaras ka da balas sende ka te baratos. Prakata baka de leketea. You are a campus leader. Pray. You are a man of God. Pray. You are a pastor, a man, a woman of God. Pray. Shanantas katapalakates kotobados Ebrekete kete barakatos sadekete balakata Shinekete berede kos kotobalada balada 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 Shede berede bos Shede bada balada bos Shegede balada bos Kradi balada 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 For your name is holy. You are holy. Holy are you, Lord. Shana makatela bakasa branda kadeba lakata bras kadeba. For your name is mighty. Shkede bekete bras kadeba lakato. Shkede bekete kebra koto koto pakate branda kadeya. Telekates koto pronto skoto balakata pregete balakata riada. For your name is faithful. Sene ma sene ma kada balakata balakata pregete balada bos. Kada balakata prende kete pres kete balakata. Te pros kabare geto shoto balakate. For your name is wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God. Shide baraka te prende kete beleke ta. Shide baraka te barus kete beleke de bala da da ba. Te baraka te balaka te bros koto balaka te. You are praying. Embrake te shalas kada baraka ta. Krake te beke te brando koto bros koto balaka ta. Shana baka te prende kete beleke ta. E prakata kata brans kete beleke ta. Expand your capacity. 
expand your capacity expand your capacity in the spirit gain acceptance in the spirit this is how saviors are made this is how the mighty are made in the kingdom go ahead and stretch stretch Skabade balas kadela katali katale kata ebra kata bakata bende kata brosko kopariata ende bereta skadebe le kate brata kada balakata braga de badiata balas shada berekate branda kada barakos kodo barosia da balada balada bos. I hail you, Most High. I hail you, Most High. You're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne. I hail you, Ali. Sada Sada Lata Bariata. I hail you, Most High. I hail. Defy pain, defy pain, defy pain, defy pain and stretch in the spirit. Kepas Kateba Lakata Prendekata. Skadeberekete bandos koto brondo koto pras kedele ebra kata barus koto brondo koto prende kete belekatia skadeberekete branda kada barakato sabari asada barada balakatari kada hello he. Ah, Elohim. Ah, Elohim. Shabara sanakata barakata is a prayer meeting. Get the barakatos koto brando koto brakata lekata. Shabara kata bakata brada kada kada lekata bos. Abracata Baratos Koto Brondo Koto Bregadesh Lakatabes Kata Bregadesh Kata Bregatos Soto Poros Abracata Pata Kata Bregata Kata 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 Pagotos Kabana Kata Bagos Soto Bregato Balakata Mekata Bros Koto Bondo Koto Baskata Balakata Bregata Balakata Shiberegate Katos Yadabana Hallelujah In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 9. We're still standing. Luke chapter 9 from verse 28 and 29. One of the mysteries of engaging prayer with understanding Luke chapter 9 from verse 28 and 29 we're still praying and it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings he took Peter 
John and James and went up into a mountain to pray the miracle is in the next verse let's read together 29 if you can see one to read and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white this is one of the things that prayer does it says as he prayed not before he prayed as he prayed his countenance there is transformation the primary assignment of prayer is for your transformation not just receiving needs having requests is only an aspect of prayer the primary assignment of prayer is a spiritual tool that evolves you into a superior dimension in the spirit so every time you submit yourself to prayer you may not realize what is happening but in the realm of the spirit he says his countenance began to change and then his raiment mastery over the flesh his garment became white all of the lusts and all of the things that stop you from experiencing a superior christian experience his garment prayer also affects the garment as he prayed his countenance changed his garment became white and glistening is someone ready to pray still so now you understand that whilst you are praying something is happening to you the version that came to this ground is not the version that is living there is there is there is capacity there is expansion so that the grace you could not carry yesterday you can now carry today open your mouth and begin to pray tired of this level in the spirit tired of this dimension in the spirit it's a call for a higher realm lift your voice and pray we're praying growth in the spirit growth in the spirit Embrace Balakatosia, ascending into levels, ascending into higher levels in the spirit. He baratas kada berekete balakata.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen let me tell you what happens to you when you begin to pray you are tampering with something a status quo that the flesh is used to the flesh will fight you when you pray but when you stay and you continue praying you will get to a point where you will begin to gain dominion over the flesh let me show you something Acts chapter 28 hmm. Acts chapter 28 let's start from verse 1 Acts chapter 28 from verse 1 the Bible says and when they were escaped talking about Paul now please pay attention they knew that their island was called Melita verse 2 it says and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness and then they received us and helped us in the cold Paul is speaking next verse the Bible says when Paul gathered a bundle of sticks look up please Paul gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire and then came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand look up please when Paul was gathering that stick there was a viper hiding there but it could not be seen but when they brought that stick into fire the viper that was hiding found its way out there are times you may never know the tendencies that are hiding within you all the lusts and the cares but when you submit yourself to the fire of the spirit everything that is hiding waiting to destroy your future it begins to be exposed in the presence of prayer it is in the place of prayer that whilst you pray all of a sudden God reveals to you that there is pride the viper of pride hiding waiting to destroy the next 20 years of your ministry there is the viper of lust there is the viper of self glorification in the place of prayer the viper is both exposed and destroyed open your mouth and begin to pray that everything hidden in my destiny to destroy me hidden in my life by the power of prayer tonight in the name of Jesus Christ let it be exposed and destroyed are there people of prayer in, in Sukha lift your voice and pray the fire always exposes the viper the fire always exposes the viper seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith east of the Niger pray shake every viper shake every viper E prato sada bakata prende gede belaketos. E kato sada bakata barakete pras kete belaketa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are we still following? Matthew chapter 21 
from verse 13. Let me show you a mystery while we pray. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 13. Jesus entered the temple and he began to flog people who were buying and selling in the temple. And when he flogged them, he made a statement that is a very deep mystery. Matthew, please give it to us. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 13. Read with me. Ready? One to read. Uh huh. He said, It is written, if it is my house, it will be called a house of prayer. He says, But you have made it a den of robbers. Let me show you a mystery. In the realm of the spirit, a house is either a house of prayer or a den of robbers. Listen to me. Even if that house is you, if you are not a house of prayer, the next other thing in your life is you become a den of robbers. You know what robbers do? They come to a house to steal. So once you are not a house of prayer, you become a den of robbers. So they can come into your life and your destiny. They can steal time. They can steal your joy. They can steal your increase. The antidote to the robbery of Satan over your health, over your life is to become the house of prayer. Are we together now? So if you do not pray your health, he will steal from your health your joy he will steal from your time the moment the temple stopped being a house of prayer it became a den of robbers do you know what they were doing in the temple they were exchanging things so the devil can pray on your life and exchange your destiny exchange your virtues because he found a cold temple that was not a place of prayer that means if you want to drive robbers in the temple, the way you drive robbers is to turn it back to a house of prayer. Is someone ready to drive robbers from your life? The robbers that steal time, the robbers that steal joy, the robbers that cause delay. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. This house is a house of prayer, never a den of robbers. Kapakatosh. This house remains a house of prayer. This house remains a house of prayer. My body, my life, my destiny remains a house of prayer. Ebros koto barus kada belentes kada barus kripe kato pokos koto pelekata. Go ahead and pray. Lekata brandi ke barus kia tabala kata. Pray. Shine tapas kada les kabaras kotoch. Kibres kata bekata pros koto balakatam brigadea. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you tired of praying? My head, you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted. Like the horn of a unicorn 
another prayer point but I want to pray I'm seeing at least 24 people the Lord is saying he's bringing you into seasons of encounter with the spirit and the power of God is going to come on such people I want to pray for them now I want you to please bring them out whether you are an usher or not just help them there are certain people here some of you are students you didn't even know that the call of God is upon your life but there is a grace that is finding you now i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands all over this auditorium in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace that represents the calling that draws you into the secret place may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you please bring them out there is a strong anointing that is coming on those people men and women men and women of power of grace you will never never be the same please make sure they don't enjoy themselves when you hold them like this let them just be down in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i decree and declare over his entire auditorium everyone by the spirit who should be part of this calling i stretch my hands may that grace come on you now Help them, please. Help them. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.